August is often an overlooked time frame for gardening. It's hot out, no one wants to get outside, everyone's ready for fall, but it's one of the best times to plant for a fall harvest. So maybe your spring garden failed, maybe you had crop failure, but I'm here to tell you that August is a great time to get some new plants in the ground so that you can have a beautiful, abundant fall harvest for you and your family. So here are 11 crops that you can plant right now for a fall harvest. Have you ever bit into a carrot that was freshly harvested from the garden in the fall right after it gets that first light frost? There's nothing quite as good. Carrots are one of those crops that actually get sweeter with time. As it gets more frost, the sugar compounds in the carrot root actually multiply. And there's nothing quite like it. You can't purchase it in the store. It only comes from your garden. The next plant you need to be growing in August is lettuce. This is one of the crops that grows pretty quickly. And if you want a continual supply of lettuce, all you need to do is make sure to plant lettuce every week and you'll have a continual supply all the way into the winter. Now, when it comes to lettuce and all the vegetables that I'm mentioning in this video, selecting good seed varieties is really, really important. And to make it easy on you, I've put links down into the description so that you can purchase seed online and get your fall garden started. Now, the next crops you can be planting this time frame is your brassicas. Brassicas are essentially in the cabbage family. So things like Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower, and kale. Now you may not eat all those or like all those, but those are four brassicas that you can be planting right now in August for a fall harvest. Things like Brussels sprouts and kale actually get better as it gets colder. So if you want Brussels sprouts for Christmas, that may be a legitimate reality in your growing zone, but you just need to look that up. Now another crop that often gets overlooked because people think it's too late to plant them is cherry tomatoes. This is a sun gold variety and cherry tomatoes actually grow relatively quickly. Within a couple of months, you can begin to get these little tasty guys off of a tomato plant. Another crop that gets really overlooked is green beans. We just planted pole beans here along our trellises and pole beans are something that you can grow in the fall and they'll actually produce really well. We actually just planted a row of pole beans on our arch trellis here, which is a really simple way to build a trellis using a cattle panel. Now, another crop that gets looked past is summer squash. Now, you only will be able to plant summer squash varieties that produce relatively quickly, but you can grow squash and zucchini this fall. Now, two more crops to not forget about that you can plant in August are green onions and spinach. A lot of people love growing spinach in the fall because as it gets that first frost, very similar to carrots, the leaves begin to get really, really sweet and enjoyable. Now, I wanna pause real quick and talk about what DTM means, or days to maturity. Most of the time you can find this on the seed packet that you have, and days to maturity is essentially telling you from the moment that that seed is sprouted, how many days will it take for it to produce a harvest? So for example, this is a cucumber seed, the Market More 76 cucumber, and this says on here, that your days to maturity is 60 to 70 days. Oftentimes on a seed packet, it'll say DTM or days to maturity. And so basically what you're gonna do, especially if you're growing in the fall, is you want to Google your city and find out what is your average frost date for the fall. So for ours, ours is November 1st. So if we wanted to grow something that was gonna take 60 days to produce, then we likely need to plant that in early August so that we have plenty of time to get a good harvest from that plant. That's it for today, y'all, and I hope that you have an abundant harvest this fall so that your 2023 gardening season is a massive success. We'll see you on the next one.